Are you doing everything you can to get better? My name's Greg. You're watching How to Play Paintball. So this, this isn't necessarily a series, like you needed to watch part one. Uh, it's just one of the, uh, a group of ideas that you can do for uh, different off season workouts or things like that. So maybe you're not even watching this in the off season. Maybe this is in the middle of the season. You're just looking for something to help you out off the field. Awesome. Uh, so this is just a, a, another group of ideas of different drills that you can do that require zero paint whatsoever that are still going to help you out to become a better player on the field. All right. So for this first one, what you're going to need is a resistance band. So I have mine from uh, the fitness doctor. So again, from that, uh, that box set that you can get, um, I'm going to be using the medium one. Uh, it's good that it actually says medium. So I don't have to memorize colors. So this is a drill though, that you can do, even if you're at the field, let's say that you're just snap shooting and you are trying to just figure out a way, how can I make this more challenging? So that way, again, you want to make yourself a better player. You need to challenge yourself. So like I mentioned in the other video, uh, my marker is off. There's no paint in it. There actually isn't even any air in the tank. Um, but just make sure that you're still being safe. Just, it's just precautions, guys. Let's just make sure that we're uh, being good ambassadors for the sport. Um, so what you're gonna do is take your resistance band. You're gonna put it basically around to this part of your thighs. Now, the good thing with these is that since this set comes with multiples, if uh, even like the extra strong one becomes too easy, you can always double up with uh, some of the other ones and figure out what's gonna be a more challenging set for you to use. Um, so what you're doing is getting into your usual stance, you know, about shoulder width apart. Obviously, if you're behind a pin, you're gonna have to be like this. That's an exception. But for the most part, when you're snap shooting, your, your base is gonna be about the same. What you're doing is sitting down into your snapshot and all you're doing is just snap shooting. You could even try to put it as a timer, try to see how, how many snaps can you do in a minute with good form. If you have a mirror, that's going to be great. If you have even like your cell phone that you can set up, so that way you can see how you're uh, actually snapping out, that's going to be great as well. Your form is really important. It's great if you can be a great uh, quick shot, but if your form is off and you're showing a bunch, you're just giving more opportunities for the other team to be able to shoot you. So again, you're just going to kind of sit down. You're going to feel that the, the band is trying to pull your legs back in. So you're just adding in more, uh, just helping with that stabilization, helping just making it more challenging. Come out and snap. So it's just an easy snap. Um, if you wanted to have a weight vest, if you wanted to make it even more difficult, <laughs> you're more than, more than welcome to do that. Okay, this one. I'm going with the light. You could even go with the, uh, the extra light one, uh, but you do want to have a little bit of resistance, but you want to have a band that is going to have a lot more stretch to it. Obviously, if you can start to go up higher, that's going to make this more difficult. By all, I'm back from uh, using a, uh, a more difficult band, but for our purposes here, all I'm going to use is just the light one, and I'm going to show you how to do this particular workout. So this is just going to be uh, helping out with um, just that off the break shot, that real quick coming up. I'm gonna show you another variation that you could do with this. Um, but all you're gonna do is take your band, you're gonna have one foot back. So loop that around your foot. So it's gonna be like that. Have your knee up, grab it, and you're just gonna come up like you're coming up to lane. So it's just a quick pull. And this resistance is helping with just adding more strain to those muscles that you're using while you are actually trying to get laning off the brake. Now, are you having a knee off the brake? No. I mean, unless you have a way of being able to tie it to a tree, you could do that. Um, but this is just a way that you're able to uh, still get that same motion um, without having to go to the gym. Like I know a lot of gyms are, are closed in certain areas, um, or maybe you just want to have a workout at home. Of course, you would switch hands. So again, you loop that around your foot. And then you put the other knee up, hold it, and then you're just coming up. You're just gonna come up and make it seem kind of like you're trying to go as fast as you can to pull up to get that shot. The way that you can change this, make it even more paintball-like, right? You have your marker. You can kind of put it around the foregrip a little bit. Still hold it, of course. And you're gonna come up with your marker. Now this is going to make it a lot more realistic 
uh, in the sense that now you're you're able to use that kind of like fulcrum, that section here that's kind of like rotating back and forth on your shoulder. But I'm just kind of going like that. As you can see, it's around the foregrip, holding it here, holding it here, and then you come up. So if you wanted to, there are different timers that you can have where it's a countdown from 10 seconds, five seconds. So you can kind of have it more in the sense of that quickness as well, that reaction. Uh, that's something that is really important. It's great if you're super fast, but if you're not quick to the buzzer, that little half a second, I mean, literally, pff, I'm not even sure how many times it's happened, but I'm sure you guys have had it happen before where you're running and you literally see the ball go like right by your head. So if you were just a little bit slower or they were just a little bit faster to shoot into that spot, you would have been eliminated. So this is just something that is helping you to get that quickness as well as the endurance aspect. And if you have that timer helping you with the, uh, the timing going off that buzzer with you. All right, this last one, again, you need your marker. Make sure you guys are being safe. Uh, and I'm gonna be using the ladder. With this one, just like the other one that we had done, you do wanna use the little anchors that come in with the package. So you're gonna put those into the ground just in case you step on it. I mean, you might get kind of tripped up. This is another one that you're gonna be having to think a little bit, uh, not as much as the other one that we had done with the, the switching hands back and forth, uh, but this one is still gonna be kind of a challenge. All you're gonna be doing is going, it's, it's the, the two feet in. I'm sure you guys have done this if you've done sports, uh, football, whatever, but we're incorporating our marker into this so that, that way we can have it more like a, uh, a paintball drill, paintball specific drill. So you're gonna be going across. So usually you'd be doing, you know, one, two across and then going all the way down. This one, you're going one, two, but you wanna to try to stay level as much as possible. So this is gonna help you with kind of getting rid of that, that little bounce. Um, so that way you can have more stability. Uh, and also it's just gonna challenge your muscles more to make sure that everything is flat. The reason why you don't wanna have that bounce when you're doing a running and gunning is you gotta think that even just a little movement up and down to the barrel, you gotta think that, think of it like a triangle coming out. So instead of it being a spread of, you know, only that much, by the time it gets to the other side of the field, it might be that big. And if someone dives and you're way up here, they're going underneath it, you completely miss that guy. But if you're able to have it where it's as tight as possible and you have your shot and you're quick, dip on the field. So again, you're gonna come across. If you wanna look down, you can. But if, you're, if there's a way that you're able to start maybe looking forward, that's gonna be even more challenging, but it is gonna be better. So look across and it's two feet in. And then of course, come back. So what's really great with these drills is that you guys can go ahead and tweak them a little bit. If you think, oh, it'd be cool if we did blah, 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 blah. By all means, do that. Uh, it's just gonna be something that's gonna help challenge you. Maybe your teammates come up with something that's a great idea. By all means, guys, I'm not saying that this is the only way to do this. Uh, so be on the lookout for other drills for the off season or just drills at home. If you wanted to go and uh, purchase that little box set from the fitness doctors, the link is down in the description down below. So you can go ahead and click on that, take you directly over to it. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. But as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks. Thank you.